Hey team, Jen here. I am making this video to welcome you to week four of our class on early American literature. And this week I wanted to let you know that it's very important that you take my comments on your first essay, the short answer essay, very seriously as you move into week four. Because in week four you have your first uh, formal academic essay due. And the comments that I've left for you can really give you some helpful insights into how you can make that uh, the forthcoming essay stronger. Um, I also recommend that you watch my overview video called What is an Academic Essay? You can find that on my YouTube channel. That'll take you through the specifics of what exactly this genre is that you're asked to write in in college. Um, you know, if you've never written an essay that you've been proud of, or if you feel like you really don't understand what the components are of an essay at this level, that short video can give you some really key insights that can help you. So that's something to keep in mind as you move forward. Um, this week, we engage the discourse of romanticism. And despite what some students might think romanticism is, it isn't sexual or passionate love. Uh, romanticism defines a very particular period in um, American and also European history uh, in the arts. And this week, we're going to hone in on a couple of the key romantic concepts that really had weight uh, in America, it's particularly concerning the way that the natives were romanticized. And these these include discourses about the individual, um, the supernatural, the sublime, um, the relationship between man and nature, and also invoking the emotions. And as you read the works this week by Cooper and by um, Irving, I want you to think about which emotions these authors seem to invoke. So instead of being very broad as you read these texts, I want you to really practice your close reading this week and hone in on what do you see as the primary emotions that inform these writings? And also, um, how are these writings either beneficial or problematic for the ways in which the natives were viewed by these Americans. So those are some questions to keep in mind. This week, in addition to the readings in Romanticism, you also have a forum post that includes two parts as usual. And as usual, I want to encourage you to add an additional part where you offer any insights that seem really interesting for you from the readings apart from the topics that the prompt brings up. Um, as always, your prompt needs to be accompanied by at least two peer responses. And you know already that I love you to be really engaged in the forum. So if you could offer more than that, that would be really helpful. Also, when you see me responding in a thread, please jump into the conversation. That is me trying to conjure up heated debate. So I'd really appreciate responses to my responses that can be really helpful for initiating a deeper discussion of the text. Uh, this week as well, as I mentioned, you also have your first formal essay. I have a lot of resources for you on my YouTube channel for anybody who just feels insecure about what the academic essay is. And everybody should feel insecure. It's a very slippery genre. And I offer some tips there that can help you. I'm also available for you during online office hours. I hope that you guys have a fantastic week this week, that you really enjoy yourselves and you really enjoy these readings. They're so pertinent to um, our daily lives and to what's going on here in the 21st century. I will see you here next time, same time, same place. Bye for now.